guys welcome back if you're new to my channel hello thank you for joining me today my name is margaret i'm from the netherlands i do paper crafting junk journaling and such i have no prototype on my desk but i have an idea i have a lot and i mean a lot of uh, ephemera and papers left from the summer's bounty kit from um, michelle's the junk journal studio full disclosure uh, michelle who is lovely has asked me if i wanted to be in her design team Yes, of course, because she makes beautiful things. So um, from now on, the digitals that I'm using, I will be getting for free. Yeah, so I just wanted to get it out there. But, but guys, she has a discount now. 25% discount in her Etsy shop. Go, go, go. It's, it's up until the 23rd of August, I believe. I'll leave a link below. But let's get back to, into the project. I want to use uh, some of the digital, some of the ephemera, and then some scraps. I have some um, book pages. I have a piece of vellum. This is EKG paper, I believe. It's from hospital machinery where they measure, you know, your heart. And I don't know. I am not a doctor, you know. Uh, but I love I love the red that goes well with these sort of papers. Okay, let me tell you what I have in mind. I want to make some sort of a large pocket with all small stackable sort of pockets that you can put your the beautiful ephemera pieces in, yeah. And then you can put that one into your journal. So it's going to be stackable pockets for your junk journal. Okay, what else do we need? Um, glue, scissors. I'm probably going to use a trimmer. And um, bits and bobs, bits and bobs. <coughs> Let's get started. Okay, I want the base of the pocket um, to be 5 by 7 inches, I guess. Yes, 5 by 7. Um, maybe 7 and a bit, probably 7 and a bit. I'm using this piece of sort of craft paper, cardstock. It's not really cardstock, but it's a little bit heavier than normal paper. Just to give it a nice base. But uh, this is very plain. Normally I would love this. But we're going to do a very sort of bright uh, project. So I want to cover it with beautiful old German book page. Yes. Um, and then stack the sort of pockets. Like so. But cuter. <laughs> cuter than this. Have some small uh, sort of pockets on here. Yeah. With these colors. That's the idea. First, let's make some pieces 5 by 7 inches. Right? Yeah. There's no 5, nor there is there a 7 on here. Um, well, there is a height thing here. It, this is... I'm going to mark it at 7. I can do that. Can you do that? Sure, I can. I can, I can, I can. Well, mark it at five first. Because we have to make it smaller. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. So, five wide. There you go. Five. Uh, by seven and a bit, I said. Yeah, I'm going to have it seven and a bit. Just to be sure. So. Here's my base. Keeping this because I also want to make. Uh, something for the back I guess. Don't know yet. My idea haven't gone that far yet. <laughs> okay. So I am going to cover this all. With a uh, well. Beautiful old German book page. Just using my glue stick. So, how are you guys doing? Have you recovered from the heat? It's supposed to be a little bit cooler now, but I still, I still think it's too warm. It's too warm. Oh, I, I'm looking forward to fall. Yes, mushrooms and beautiful colored leaves and such. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, does it go all the way? It doesn't really matter because there's going to be pockets on here. Most of it will be pockets. I'm going to remove move it a little bit more to the center. Yes. And I'm using up my book pages. I have a lot of these. There you go. Cutter again. Why not? I have it out.
great. Um, darlings. <laughs> I only say darlings if I uh, want you to do something for me. Can you please do something for me? Yeah. Um, I think most of you are subscribed to uh, Tina Shabby Dabby Duda's channel. Yes. I saw a little video this morning and my heart broke. Um, I knew she's going to, uh, uh, through a divorce and it's it's been really rough. It's so rough that she cannot do a video right now at the moment. She has videos on because the woman works so very hard. My hat's off to you, Tina. Um, please go, go give her some love. Just say... Hi Tina, thinking of you. And uh, if you don't know who Tina, Tina is, please go. Her uh, channel is uh, Shabby Dabby Duda, which is a really funny name. And uh, she makes wonderful, wonderful videos. And, um, you know, I just want to show her some support. Okay, this is going to be the base. Am I going to round the corners? I will. Making it up as we go, lovies. Yeah. Yeah, so go say hi to Tina and uh, tell her you, you're thinking of her and you love her and um, to really take care of herself. She must take care of herself and her and her children. Yeah. Okay, um, I, did, I did think about this in my head for a bit. I want to have strips that are about two centimeters, two, not two centimeters long. We're working in inches, remember? Yes, two inches. Uh, there's no inches on here, is there? No. But I do want to use my tearing ruler. Where is my normal ruler? Well, I'm going to use my mat because I have dis displaced my normal ruler. Yeah, I am going to use my tearing ruler. Pieces of two inches. And I want them to be sort of rough. Just some sort of rough edges. I think that'll be nice. Yeah? How wide is this? Well, it is wide enough. Just about. Is this wide enough? Yeah. Again, I'm going to do a strip of two inches. Making strips of two inches. There you go, that's two. And I want them to overlap a little bit. Yeah, that's important. Before I rip into this, I'm going to take a piece off. Why is it stuck? Because, because of glue. Because of lots of glue. No, no clue how the glue got there. just going to have a piece off. I know this is about five inches. And now two. This vellum is going to be tricky with the gluing down part and such, but um, I have an idea for that. Yeah, I want to have this in between uh, two layers like so so you won't you hardly see the gluing down parts on this one and then for my piece of this paper is this five inches one two three four no no oh i do want to have these numbers on here of course you do love uh, so i'm going to a lot of you guys bought this And there's someone I need to thank for this one. Yeah. Hope she's watching after the Vidica designs. What did I do? She just ripped it, but that's okay. She got me two rolls of these. She's such a sweetheart. Yeah. I need this to be two inches. I'm going to use this. So two rolls is more than enough because uh, this is half of it. More than enough for me. So um, I wanted to share with you guys. 
How about this? Does this look okay? I think it will look nice. I think it will. But I could be mistaken. Before I glue these pockets down, I want to do some inking. Some light inking. And um, I was thinking about inking. I'm going to use my salt water taffy. Because I do not want this to be um, brownish, vintage, photo-ish. I just want it to be happy. Happy, happy. Let's, let's do happy today. Yeah. So I'm going to use that. I think this color goes very well with these papers. Doesn't need to go all the way to the bottom because most of it is going to be covered. So yeah, some inking here and then also some inking on these papers. Just the edges. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. I did some sort of measuring where I want what to be what to go. Uh, and then I discovered something that I hadn't noticed before. So we need to change one little thing. This one. Yeah, let me show you why. What I want to do is uh, sort of stack these pockets, overlap them in a way. But this one will show, uh, because it's see-through, the um, paper behind here. So what I wanted to do was make this not into two inches but two and a half so made a new piece this is gonna go underneath here and it will look not much nicer so that's what i did if you're not using vellum you can use like the two inch piece let's see how this looks on the vellum well it looks cute Yes. Okay. This is going to go on the bottom. Then this is going to go over here. And this one over here. Yeah. And then this one over there. Which means we have to start with this one. Yeah. Otherwise it won't work. So I'm starting with this one. I'm just going to mark it. Do I have a pencil? I probably do. I need to glue it here. I'm just gonna mark it. Have it mark it a little bit bolder, love. You know, eyes, eyes and such. I'm using art because I want a thin strip of glue. I'm not using art glitter glue because you know it needs to be stuck down very well because it's oh art. Art has a runny nose again. Uh, yeah, because of warm. There you go. I am I'm, I'm letting it overlap. Overhang here. Yeah, that's okay. We'll trim it later. Is this at all straight? Let's just have a look. Yeah. Great. Then, this one. So far, it's easy, right? Yeah. Gonna mark it again. Glue till this bit and over here. This bit and over here. Just a small strip of glue. Oops, I made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake, guys. Can we MacGyver it still? Yeah, just about. I want this to be pockets. Guess what? It needs to be glued down here as well. <laughs> oh, it is the heat. I cannot think. I'm a little bit confused at the moment. This morning, I washed my hair with my body wash. 
after I wash my hair. I always start with my washing my hair in the shower. And when I was done, I wanted to wash, you know, the rest. So I took some like soap. And then again, I put it in my hair. What? Yeah, I'm either getting old or it's the warmth. Did I put glue here now? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I was in time. You were probably screaming, uh, hello, pockets, you need to glue the bottom. Yes, I know. Well, I sort of knew. Okay, Art, stop blowing bubbles. Thank you. Okay, careful now. Careful now, lovey. Hopefully this will stick. We'll see. I am going to ink the bottom first. And this bottom still. Because maybe something will peek through. Better do it now than later. Does it fit? Yes. Put a little bit too much glue on it. These are my baby wipes. Yes. Also called as fingers. I don't know. The baby wipes thing. Tell me. Tell me. In my opinion, you know, if I think about using baby wipes, there's some sort of a lotion in it, right? Some oily stuff. Or at least it's wet. How, how would you just use that on paper? I mean... Will your paper not look horrible? Or and if they are dried out, why use don't you I don't I don't know. I'm confused. I am really confused. I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> I'll be back when it's dry. It's dry. Now I want to trim these sort of pieces off that are sticking out. And there's one. I think I know what uh, what I want to do on the back. Yeah. Or, you know, you need to be in frame. We could also do that. No problem. There you go. How does it look now? Very, very cute. Right? Um, before I do the back, I want to do some decorating. I like it. I really do like it. And some inking. A little bit of inking here and there. There you go. I have a bunch of ephemera left. Um, labels, fussy cuts, all sorts. I don't need everything. I just need, you know, a few, a few things. Let's see. Oh yeah, I have the I I so adore this one. A plate of strawberries. Isn't that cute? Um oh yeah, also like this one. Already inked it. I was like, will this look nice? And I think it does. So I want to have this over here. I think plate of strawberries with Do I have another Oh yeah, I have a word. Well, a word, a sentence. The beginning is the most important part of the work. Well, probably is. How about we put this over here? Yeah? We want to pray to throw this with or the babies. No, I'm not gonna do the babies. Nor the birdies. Oh look at the purity bee. Maybe a bee. Small enough. It is small enough. And I also have these sort of small labels that we can put here and there. And another strawberry.
one here, one here. Well, I'm gonna do this one for sure. For sure, this one. Let me get a piece of paper that I can sort of glue on. Perfect. Yeah, another Summer's Bounty project. <laughs> Does it still fit on here? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You should have measured it, lovey. We're just gonna move it. Yeah. With the strawberries. I haven't had that much strawberries this summer. I did have a lot of watermelon. Do we need something sort of behind here? Like what? Well, something reddish. No, it's basically the same. Do I have some more? Oh, I have one more of these, these big labels. Does that look at all nice? No. Not really. How about how about them apples? The other way around? No, no, just have this. I'm just going to ink it a little more so that it'll stand out a little bit more, I guess. Yeah, that does work. That does work. While I'm inking, let's ink this. Does this need any inking? Well, we're here, so why not? Yeah, I want to have this one on here. And of course, you can do this with any sort of paper and with any sort of digitals or, you know, scraps that you have. I just happen to, happen to have a lot of the summer's bounty left. Don't know. Don't know about this one. Do you know about this one? This is going to be see-through, so I don't think I want to put anything on here. Do we have like a smaller phrase in red? Making a mess. Now I only saved the bigger ones. Something in green? No. No, not gonna do green. No, we're not gonna do that. No. Or maybe the small bee. Is this crooked? Yes, a lot. Yeah. Do I have the small bee? Oh, yeah. Yes. There you go, little bee. Yep. Now, for something on the back. Okay. Here's my idea for the back. Yes, I do not want to cover it with the paper. I want to make a big pocket on here uh, and but do some stamping, some background stamping because uh, I'm in love with this stamp that I found on my Uncle Ollie's. Um, and I'm using, I'm gonna try to use, I don't know if that, that'll work, but I'm gonna use saltwater taffy. Why not? And I'm gonna do some, some sort of random stamping, yeah? Just some bits here and there. See, like so. Oh, that looks so cute. Yeah. Really doesn't say what it is. It's just, you know, some background stuff. Yeah, like it. I 
I don't really need to stamp the middle because it's going to be a pocket there. Can you see it? Yeah, it's just really sort of in the background, but this is why they call it background stamping. Yeah. I hope you can see it. I can see it. And then some inking around the edges, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the background. There you go. And now for the big pocket, what I want to do is, of course, use a piece of this paper. I'm going to cut it a little bit wider than this one because I want the pocket to have sort of a... What's it called? Gusset? No, that's not gusset. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But I'll show you. I will show you what, what it is. Uh, let's see. I do not want to measure today. I just want to create... There you go. And how tall? That is way too tall. Yeah. What I want to do is make a fold here and here and here and then fold that in so it will be like a sort of a raised pocket. I believe it's called gussets. But before I do that, I'm not going to do background stamping. I want to make a collage with the pretty papers that we used i'm missing one right like a darker red one well we'll find it we'll find it i just want to do some random sort of collaging this is like a do whatever sort of project I don't need to go all the way to the edge because this will be folded. Let's rip it here. And there. I should have a piece of the darker red left, but where? It's upside down! Yeah, be adventurous, have it upside down. Why don't you, is it over here? Yes, found it, I found it. Um, I do want this to be sort of. Sort of ripped. So I'm using all these papers except for the vellum of course, because the vellum you won't see. So random. Here we go. Oopsie. Yeah, another piece of this red. I don't want any straight edges on here. goes here and then one more piece of the book page I guess do we have some more not really that's okay I'm gonna make it shorter <laughs> I just made a decision I'm going to make it a little bit shorter There you go.
before I score this and fold this, I want to let it dry. Otherwise, um, it will be, it won't be nice. It won't be nice. Trust me, it won't be nice. So, I'm gonna let it dry for just a bit. I think it's dry enough. I trimmed it a little bit, guys, because it was way too big. Now, I'm gonna make a couple of score lines. I want the score lines to be three quarters of an inch. One on this side. It's a couple of layers thick, so really pushing hard. One on the other side is also three quarters of an inch. And then the bottom side. Also decided this is the bottom. This was the bottom, but I, I flipped it. And the bottom I'm just gonna have like, um, well, let's do three quarters of an inch. Why not? Why not? Just do it. So now I have like a little square here and a little square there. Taking up my scissors and I'm cutting this whole piece off. See, I have the square and then two pizza pies. And then on the top, I'm just gonna snip off a little piece here and there. And I'm gonna fold it. And this is why it really needs to be dry, otherwise you won't get nice folds. Hopefully this was dry enough. I, I believe so. See? Now we have a big, big pocket. Ooh, that's nice. Big pocket over here. In the middle. Do you want to have a... Uh, yes. Yes, I want to have a, you know... A thumb notch. Is this the middle? Sort of. Oops. And inking it again. Yep. So this is gonna go on here like so. I am going to use art for this. I'm going to trim it a little bit over here, you see? Because this overlaps, creates a little bit of bulk. And I don't want that. Does that fix the problem? It does. Fold it down very, very well. Yeah. Big paper. This one, the other one. There you go. Is it straight? For some reason I can't really see. This is lying here and I think it will look lovely. Is it too big? No, if we just sort of maneuver it, it'll be fine. But I do have some others that I really like. I love this one. Also, that's another flower. Sunflower. No. There was a big one of these, but I think I've already used that one. Big bird? No. Yeah more sort of berries oh yeah here it is the bigger one oh yeah this one yeah i like this one well i basically like them all michelle has told me she is working on a fall kit if it is at all anything like the summer bounty kit Yes, thank you, Michelle, because I'm in love with this one. Mm. 
yeah but it needs a little bit more um i have this but then it has two sort of these things no 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 um i had another sort of take time to be a butterfly Did I not have a big red label? Did I use it on the front? Let me have a quick look. I thought I had a big red label. Didn't use it, so I probably have it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Like so? Yes. There's no up or down on this one. It's just a label. With lots of glue. And then this one. That's upside down love. Yeah, cute, 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 cute. See, I did some drawing where I wanted the lines to go. <laughs> sort of a prototype then. There we are. I think I'm going to do the butterfly one on top of here yep i believe there is a butterfly in here somewhere but i think it's the wrong color like a more yeah like a more orangey one does that bother me that it is sort of orange A bit. No, uh, oh, this this is more yellowy one. A little bit more subtle. No red butterflies. No, no. Not a big bee. And we did put a bee on the front. But yeah, it says butterfly. <laughs> No, I'm going to have this butterfly on here. Great. Let's fill it up with some cards. So, 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 so many cards. Little pieces of ephemera. It's insane insane um i already checked it out guys because otherwise we'll be here like for two more hours i think i want to have this card in the back over here and then put a tab on it because i also have these tabs left i did however use my own uh tab die for this michelle had some already sort of printed so you could cut them out if you don't have a uh, whale tap punch or a tap punch or these dies uh, but I do and uh, so I use them you're gluing on your mat yes not even carefully I'm just putting it just right on there there you go Does need to go a little bit lower. Did we go all the way to the end? Let's let's quickly check. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's probably the end. <laughs> 
there you go. And then on the front, so many lovely things. Um, I love this one because it has the strawberries. I love this one. Look at that. I think that will look nice over here. With the lady sort of peeking out. M for Margaret. Yeah. And oh, look at these cherries. So, so lovely. So I want to have the cherries over here. Some more of these flowers for the strawberries here. Yes. What else did I have? Oh, I love this one as well. This one. Some of these. You can do so many. You can do so, so many. What else is in here? This one. Sort of like so. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's it. Here it is. Here's what I've made. Yeah. Pocket, pocket, pocket. Lots of pockets. With different color paper. Well, it's all in sort of reddish. Uh, two of the kits. And then a piece of my own vellum. And this paper. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, book page. And the lovely cards in here. And then on the back, a big pocket with another card. Yeah. So cute. Um, you could send this in Happy Mail. Yeah. Just, you know, put it in an envelope, send it to a friend. That'll be really, really nice. Uh, you could also clip it with a paper clip in your journal or hinge it. So you can have like sort of a fold out. That would also be nice. You can do anything. I just love it. And it holds the ephemera. So that's really, really nice. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. I want to thank uh, Michelle for making this beautiful kit again. Her shop is linked below at the shop. 25% um, discount. If I can recommend you anything, Summer's Bounty. Seriously, guys, seriously. This is the best kit in a long, long time that I've ever used. And um, I bought this one myself before I was... Uh, very proud design team member and um also if you have the time say hi to tina just you know give her a give her a sort of a hug and i'll be back uh, tomorrow um uh, maybe a rolodex abc or a collection video still guys you need to vote what you want to see magazines or postcards i want to try and have like a sort of a Thing that, you, that you can really vote on on youtube there is such a thing i don't know how it works but i'll find out i'll try to guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow bye